Hey guys, it's your boy Mark. I'm out here in beautiful Marietta, Georgia today. Um, these are some stunning, stunning homes. Pretty much, I'd say 900s to over a million. Uh, you can see some of the construction going on over here as well. This is a high-end builder, so you're gonna have a pretty incredible experience. You can see the um, amazing detail on these oversized um, columns. I love this, like a wraparound front porch. Top school district, top builder. You're gonna have one incredible, incredible experience. You can see here some of the views from your front door. Loving the uh, double pane glass front doors. Let's go in and take a look. And a wow. <laughs> you want to be blown away? You want to talk about an entrance? You can't help but just like jaw drop. Imagine holidays, Sunday dinners, just inviting people over. Uh, pretty, pretty incredible. So you can see, also you get, in addition to that two-story family room, which we'll take a look at a little bit more detail in, the two-story foyer. Look at those added windows up top. And again, showing these double-paned windows. You get a kind of a study, home office. Um, I've seen there, just as a decorated model in, uh, I think it was Woodstock I did a video of. I got to see if I could still find it. I could show you like a, you know, staged one, but this floor plan has always been killer um, and one of our clients' favorites. It's a different level experience dealing with a builder like this. You get three windows in here. Notice the added transom up on top. What the camera probably doesn't do justice is just how high the ceilings are. I'm not just talking about the two-story family room. I'm just talking about like a room like this. On an average home, you're probably looking at eight to nine foot on the first level. These have to be, I would say, a minimum of 10 feet in the secondary rooms, which is unheard of. And this is where it's that level, at a level of insulation, the quality of the lighting fixtures. You can see in here, they added four LED lights and then they give you the regular, you know, nipple light, they call them, but you could always change this out to a higher end finish. Again, if you build from the ground up, you're gonna have an incredible design center experience with like real true interior designers helping you pick out everything. That's when it does get a little pricey because people start seeing the standalone tubs, the marble, the granite, the hardwoods throughout, stuff like that. This is engineered hardwood and this one is available. So if you wanna jump on it, you know, see this video, let me know. Hopefully it will still be available. Um, here is the dining room. And then of course it leads into the kitchen, but just giving you the view from here, um, I'm thinking, you know, a beautiful long table or an amazing, I've seen in a couple, I don't really do the, you know, the name brand um, thing, you know, commercials that you see. There's nothing wrong with the American signatures, rooms to go, anything like that. But I'm just kind of more an interior design person. So I love those, not everybody has it, unique pieces. So you just find the right table or have one of our vendors because we have some great um, cabinet makers. We have some great furniture makers that can make you an incredible custom table for this area. Got four windows that long along the side there that you saw for the wraparound porch. Amazing um, accent wall I think you could do in here with like some trim work or an accented paint color. And of course, I mean, this is just, this is mind boggling. Um, just the size of these windows. I put the lights on just to show you as an example, because there's four uh, LED lights and they just have a placeholder there. They're probably going to set it up for a chandelier. But I mean, it's high up the wall. You'll be able to choose shiplap, tile, uh, accented paint color, but the built-ins here um, just give it an absolute, you know, pretty much during the day, you're not going to have to turn the lights on at all. It's a total energy efficient um, home. Now you have this backdrop to these accordion doors, which I'll show you in a second, but let's take a look at this kitchen again. You know, no wire racks in this pantry. This is a custom cabinetry with a crown molding up on top, the space for your uh, refrigerator. You see the water line here. 
But again, when you go to the design, you'll be able to pick out all its handles. You'll probably have, it wouldn't surprise me if you had like 30, 40 different style of um, cabinets to choose from. You see double ovens here, the amazing stainless steel vent hood um, and this um, island. You could also choose like a different color island if you wanna give it some contrast. But again, this one is available. So if you wanna get some incredible incentives, we can try to get it for you here. Usually when you have standing inventory homes that can close within like 90 days or less that haven't sold yet, I could typically get you some added closing costs, rate buy downs, things like that. Microwave in the island, which I love, five burner gas, gas and electric community, again, the stainless steel. This was called a pot filler. You would turn this on, water comes out of here, and this is where you cook your pastas and stuff like that. So, oh my gosh, so you don't have to drag it from here to here, right? Just an added touch of luxury that they give you. Granite, Kohler, um, farmer sink here with the black um, faucet. Beautiful KitchenAid microwave. And again, these doors. So let's talk about these. These are accordion doors. They're really, really popular in California. Not huge here in Georgia, so they just don't usually have them available. But as you can see, I'm gonna open it all the way up. They call these accordion doors. I haven't been able to showcase these, but look at this, right? You get the covered back porch. You're probably gonna like add some um, uh, screens as well. And then this is where in the spring, fall, when it's a light breeze, and if you um, put the um, screens in, it's that indoor, outdoor living. So you almost get like probably another four or 500 square feet of usable space. And then you can see that wall of windows is absolutely insane. <laughs> and then walking back with these accordion doors, you're gonna put your, um, you could do a natural gas if you wanted to, um, barbecue set or an outdoor kitchen. I'm gonna show you, actually, let me show you. Let me just walk by here just to show you what you possibly can do for an outdoor space. I've always been really impressed with their outdoor features. And again, this is when you start getting to over a million dollars because you have a lot, a lot of uh, custom features. So this is, this is the type of stuff that they do over here. They got um, exterior lighting. You can see all the pavers. You can see the outdoor grill area. You can see the fire pit table. This is pretty hot. And this is all that they can do for you if you want to build when you build. Look at that, the fire pit. And then looking back here is pretty amazing. It's the bar area with the grill, the pergola, they call these pergolas. And then I go, this is like the side of the house. So again, this one is currently available. Nice flat backyards as well. This is really, really nice. The wall of windows is fantastic. What a look. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely screening it in because I'm not a bug person. But view of the catwalk up here. Right? Incredible. Loving the built-ins as well. Coat closet. Coat closet. Now look at this. Look at the details in this built-in bench. They added slots here. Let me put some lights on. You can see a full shower, toilet. Loving this kind of black accented tile work. Connecting door. We have a downstairs bedroom with the three windows here. The door, that's a connecting door to the bathroom. Regular closet. Loving these uh, engineered hardwoods. If you wanted to do tile, you wanted to do hardwood, you want to do redwoods. Imagine your Christmas tree, you know, right here in the corner. 
for the holidays. Hardwoods up the staircase, big oversized. And then look at this, when you get to the top, it's just, whoa. <laughs> what was that song by, was it Maya? Like, whoa. Or Black Rob, whoa. <laughs> I know I'm coming out of the bedroom, going up the stairs, like, whoa. <laughs> you got all the tile. Again, this wall of windows. Like, will you ever have to, during the day, turn this light on? Probably not. It's a five bedroom, too. So you saw the bedroom downstairs, bedroom number two. Again, three windows. Probably a queen size bed, two nightstands, closet. That's the covered back porch. As you can see, if you want to pick any of these lots, they got the wooded lots over there, or and then phase two is going to be over there. So I would say jump on it. Because if I'm quoting you prices right now in the nines and a million, they sell five or six of these, you're going to be up to like. 1.1, 1.2 in no time. So whenever you can get in phase um, phase one, you wanna jump on it. You can see all the beautiful tile work. I love the up and down look to it here. I love a catwalk. Again, looking down from the very top, two-story foyer, bedroom number, Three we're at, walk-in closet. What you'll notice in this floor plan too is every single bedroom has access. You don't have to go into the hallway for its own bathroom. Love that accented black. Gives that marble look. Of course, this is wrapping up construction. Something like this could probably close in like 30 days or less. Bedroom four are we on? Yep, bedroom four. I love They're almost like almost a full length for these windows in here. Again, fuller queen. Double door again. Ooh, this is sexy. This is definitely sexy with the um that black tile. The insert here for your shampoos. Yeah, the black and white vibe with that little pop here, the khaki brown. Very, very nice. And then the ever important primary suite where you're gonna spend a lot of your time before we get there, very convenient washroom. Again, this is the difference in details. Cabinets, no wires, right? Sink with a cabinet. Beautiful honeycomb tile here, washing machine, dryer. I love these added outlets too, they think of, those are the things you wanna look for for putting your um, ironing board putting your attic space in the washroom. So instead of in like the hallways to kind of take away from this look, this is the things you want to look for. Primary suite with sitting area. Here we go. Notice the vaulted, our tray ceilings, the four LED lights there. Set it up if you want to put a ceiling fan here. Five windows in here, these wall windows couch and they maybe put in an electric fireplace cool like mantle tv above and then these bathrooms are always they're known for this the 12 inch tile the standalone soaking tub with the window double vanity sinks couples oh, love their showers the uh the glass i mean this is a bench right with a beautiful glossed Tile, not one, but two shower heads, towels and linens, and then the closet, which you're gonna be able to build out however you want. Everybody has different needs, more dresses, more suit jackets, more shoe closets, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, our services are completely free. You're hearing from Mark, co-owner of Great Homes ATL, our own brokerage firm, we represent all buyers for free. Hit begin process at greathomesatl.com. That will tell you the next steps to give you three lender referrals, where to send over your pre-approval, and we can go out and take a look at new construction or resales. Uh, we'll schedule a, a tour for out here if this is one that you like and are looking for. And 
I cannot wait to welcome you to the family. Talk to you guys soon.